Okay, so each group has consensus. What we're going to do is just go team to team, and you're going to let me know where your team wants to go. Not why or what yet, but just we're going to see where everybody's at. Okay, uh, Breath, where does your team want to go? Me. California Coast. Yeah. Uh, Evan? D. California Coast, you guys? D. Baron C, and you guys? C. C? Okay, George's Bank. So here's how the game works. We have one computer. We can only go one place at a time. It costs $10,000. So what we need to do, now that you have consensus in your team, we need to build a class consensus. So we're going to share and argue and listen to try to hear other people's arguments, to share our arguments using the science. And we want to do it in a way that's not putting people down, not hey stupid because I'm smart, you know, I think we should go here, but things like I'm the geologist and according to the geologist, take a look on this page, here's a map, it says this and that's why I think we should go to the Philippine Islands, okay? Um, or you can say, you know, I'm the environmental scientist and it says this and that's why I don't think we should go here. We're not competing against each other, we're collaborating. Okay, our goal as a class, a group of scientists, is to go to the right location. So you need to put your egos aside and you need to be able to think that maybe your initial idea was going along the wrong path and that other people notice things that you didn't or their arguments are such that you need to reconsider. One time I had the entire class except for one student who thought we should go someplace. And that student presented arguments using the science, but we suddenly had a group gang mentality that everyone said, well, if all of us but one think that, then we must be right, and they wouldn't consider the science. It turned out that that student was actually the one who had the correct location, but because other people, it was a few years ago, but because other people had in their head that, well, majority must rule, they, they disregarded the science and just put their egos first. So we're not competing with each other. The purpose of this game is to say, we all know something, we wanna share, we wanna listen, we wanna consider things. So I am not playing this game, I am running this game. So I'm gonna call on different people to share their arguments and you need to convince each other and listen to each other. So you don't need to be convincing me of anything. When someone's talking, the, the rest of us should be turning to look at that person and really have an open mind, okay? We will, we will share ideas until all ideas are shared. Then we'll get back into small groups and decide where we want to go. You won't be talking and changing your mind as people are sharing. We'll go back into small groups, okay? So Evan's going to start us off and then it's going to go to Matt. Can you tell us which one you think? Uh, I think it's California Coast. But okay. I'm, I'm going to be presenting the reason why it's not fair to see. Okay. Um, so in the video, it said the um, fishing net was caught by a propeller of a ship. Right? So in my book, I have a map of regular trade routes. If none go up by Barrett Sea. Also, in the Barrett Sea, it says the cold pool location of the sea can put the trade population growth along its shores, meaning that there would be no large, meaning that there would be no commercial, very little commercial fishermen up there, as well as um, the limited trade, so they wouldn't be able to sell their fish in a more populated area. Okay, okay, Matt, okay. then Josh. Um, we thought it was Barren Sea because in the video it says that um, it says that the it says the net was in a shallower area and on under Barren Sea right here it says this polar sea covers a shallow ocean basin is and can continental shelf and then um, um, you can say some stuff. No, but I, okay, I am an environmental scientist, and I would like to argue that it is the Barents Sea, 
because there are trade routes that go up near the Barents Sea and the current was moving north and so it would move into the Barents Sea and the Barents Sea is a shallow area which it said and near the Barents Sea is Russia which actually has some commercial fishing and Denmark and Norway and so um, and a reason why it wasn't B is um, it's supposed to be shallow, and then um, on under B it says that the continental shelf and, and slope along this coast are typical of a Pacific Ocean and its slope. 